Um, there's also Dave from Arizona. Are you there, Dave? Hey, Alan. Yes. How are you? Not so bad at all. It's always good to talk to you. I just wanted to get your two cents on something. There's a very interesting show on Wednesday nights called Conspiracy Theory. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's very good. No, I've seen it, no. I guess the question I have is the kind of stuff they go into is harp. They go into eugenics. They go into the flu shot scam, mm -hmm. mind control, uh, Manchurian candidate. Yeah. Why would they want this information going out to millions that might not know about it? Mm -hmm. It's simple. It's very simple. See, the, uh, the people who would never inquire into anything for themselves, they say there's 87% of the public, they generally quote, uh, never question mainstream. And if mainstream calls people cooks, they will then call them cooks as well without even looking into any topic. Uh, so uh, when you put it out by, um, by fictional episodes of drama coupled with emotion, it's called predictive programming, by the way, and everyone copies the heroes with it, etc. It's in the realm of it's been presented as fantasy, pure fantasy, even though it is based on pe people's accusations and data to show you that conspiracies certainly do exist. Uh, well, that, one of the things that's funny about that is that the show actually basically says that all these things are true. It will say that, but it's still presented in a in a fictional manner. And what it causes within the person is, is cognitive dissonance, they call it, where you, you hold these two different opposing views, like double think in your head at the same time. And uh, it, it ends up being entertainment. And if you follow any series that comes on, I don't know how long this one's been on, but follow it and you'll see how more and more ridiculous something will become uh, and, and crazy it'll become. And in the mind of the person who's getting downloaded over a period of time, then even the, the more real episodes become crazy to them when they think back on them. They all get tarred with the same brush. Yeah. So basically they just use it to disprove it. Absolutely. They understand human psychology so perfectly. And they do work with uh, mainstream uh, writers, authors, and movie makers and series makers for television. Yeah, they do. Awesome. Okay, thanks, Alan. Thanks for calling. Yeah, we've got to understand the, the incredible sciences behind this. And um, these guys really, really, as I say, know what they're doing. They know how to manipulate millions of people. They've been at this for an awful long time, awful long time. The cognitive, cognitive dissonance is where eventually you have opposing ideas in your head. You battle it in your head to a standstill until you just throw it all out into the air and says, I can't believe any of it, the real or the unreal. And so you're completely neutral on everything and you're guided by the people at the top.